Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about how to apply CSS using custom label and LWC. Okay, so this is a very most important topic. We have to learn this if you want to take some benefit from LWC as well as custom label. Guys, if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. Okay, so let's get started without any further delay. And don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn a step by step guide how to apply this CSS using custom label and LWC in Salesforce. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, here you can see this is my VS code. If you have VS code, well and good. Or you can try any other editor as you have. Okay. So we have to create first of all like a negative scenario. So what is the negative scenario? I want to tell you how we can apply like a CSS without formatting or with formatting. Okay. So that is a some drawback and I will show you the benefit as well. Okay. So let me create one component here. So here let me create the component here let's say custom label demo something like that label style demo okay so now my component is created successfully so let me open my o so this is my o let me click on this gear icon click on the setup because of custom level we have to create the custom level in Salesforce. You can create the custom level using VS Code. Otherwise, you can go for here and search like custom label. So now you can see the custom label. Just click on this custom label. Now click on this new custom label. And here let's say custom label style. Something like that. Okay. So for now, right now I'm giving some manual style, let's say this is salesforce hunt right and now let me add some markup let's say what is the drawback right now when we use this custom level with salesforce or using lwc so let's say strong this is the how to learn salesforce latest content something like that and then close you can use as well UI, UL, something like that. Any markup as you have. Okay, let's say UL. Inside one, you can use LI. Let me close the LI. Inside one, let's say admin. Okay, let me copy this. Paste it here. And here, admin development. Okay, LWC. Okay, so this kind of chords or this kind of playlist we have or lots of playlist we have, but for now you can maintain like that. Okay, after that, if we have like some, you know, hyperlink, you can add the hyperlink, otherwise leave it as it is. So for now, I'm using this hyperlink. For more info, please subscribe okay subscribe the channel something like that you can maintain anything as you want the channel and a h r e f call to my channel name so as you know my channel name this one so this is the link for my channel after that you can give here uh, let me close this anchor tag and here salesforce hunt something like that. now you can check my markup okay so let me save this one once you save this one now you can see the you know markup here and everything but how we can use this custom level style in lwc so let uh, we already created this lwc component now we have to import it okay so you have to use like import so now you can import the custom label here, like uh, import your custom label name from at salesforce slash label slash your namespace dot your custom label name. So my custom label name is custom label style. Let me copy this, paste it here. 
okay inside here let's say my custom soil no space my custom level this this let me save this if you have like one custom level well and good if you have like more than one you can create the array or you know object or array of so based on your need you can create that but for now uh, in my case i'm using one so i can directly assign one property like that let me open this html here so this is my html how we can use that uh, you know custom level so let me create the card let's say custom level style custom level the style let me remove everything from here and now here we can use our custom label let me copy this custom label paste it here let me save this component yeah it's successfully deployed let me make it as true this is exposed as a true and target record page so i can use inside my target in record base this one let me deploy this component and once you deploy this component now we have to in inject this component inside the salesforce so let me open my org let me open any record as you have let's say contact record let me edit this page once you edit this page now you can just drag and drop your component from left to right here so my component name is custom we can search here like custom label style demo just drag and drop anywhere else so once you drag and drop your component here let me save this and once you save this just go back and now you will be see your custom level values here okay so here you can see each and everything right but it's not formatted that is the drawback of the you know custom level if you want to use any styling inside the custom level directly in lwc so that is the problem so how to resolve this problem so if you want to resolve this problem just you have to use instead of this paragraph right we have to use like formative respects so how we can use that so now we have to use lightning okay lightning hyphen formatted text so now rich text this one value and this value okay let me save this and now let's see in this time it is working or not so let me refresh the page once you refresh the page now we will see our styling is working or not not working because of our property is different let me copy this my styling we have to check this is working or not right so just let's wait for the deployment this component yeah it's successfully deployed now let me refresh this so once you refresh your component and now immediately you can see here the formative text as we already apply some you know styling everything inside the custom level now it's automatic applied here like this is a salesforce hunt this is how something like that this is normal text this is bold text and this is the li list after that you can see the link and these all things right once you click down here it automatic come here in into my channel right so here you can see my channel here right so th that custom you know label formative everything is working fine based on our requirement okay and it looks like very good here you can see okay and uh, another things if you want to use this component inside the flow flow also we work if you want another video on the flow how we can use this component inside the flow same thing i can create that but i need your support guys if you want okay so please mention your thoughts or you know if you need that video for the flow regarding this custom level styling so i can make the video you can write your comments inside the comment section okay so guys this is how you can apply the style using custom level and lwc and this is a very nice you know view to check each and everything so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site so till then bye bye take care see you keep for watching guys bye bye